DIY or Die, Walker Vapor Group LLC, or any of its associates do not condone nor encourage the use of nicotine, vapor products, or any mood-altering substances without the explicit consent of a physician. The content viewable on this channel is strictly for entertainment purposes only and not meant to be seen as informational or educational. Must be 21 years or older to view these materials. Beautiful people, welcome back to another episode of Noted, your personal walking, talking flavor reviews. I'm Mil Nikon, and say hi to Chiba Steve and ID10T. How are you boys doing tonight? Oh, doing pretty dang good. How you doing? I just went through 20 flavors with a honey in the name this week, and about half of them taste like piss. So how do you think? Only half? <laughs> Maybe a little over half. It was bad. <laughs> this is torture. I didn't really get yeah. pissed until like the room note though definitely was pee. Some of them it really just exists in the room note, but some of them straight up taste like urine. It was not pleasant. Yeah, they definitely have that sharp ammonia type note to them. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good way of putting it. The worst offender is TFA honey. And I think oh, yeah. most people are aware of that. But... <laughs> and I guess knows this by personally firsthand. Please welcome Skittles. Oh shit, it's me again. What's up, guys? Hey, what's going on, man? Been a while oh, since wow. we had you on. Yeah, yeah. It's good it to have you back. A while. Yeah, it's good to be back. I wish I wasn't here for this episode, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking guess, about? I mean, it's great. All the I guess flavors <laughs> are equally good. Well, Emily might be smart enough to have never tried it, but I know I have a TFA honey horror story, and Stephen probably has one, but nobody has one as good as yours. No, I <laughs> saw Skittles' video, and like that's like one of the first videos I watched in DIY, and so I knew t I don't even own the flavor. At at eight percent, it's pretty nuts. <laughs> you don't get any of the honey flavor. It's just unpleasant all around. Yeah, eight percent is a little bit high for that one. <laughs> it, I well, I just discovered that any percent is a little high for that one. But what what was the story behind that? Um, so when um, I don't know, I can't remember what the drama was, but Ellen Powell was in in hot water on on Reddit, and everyone was calling for a resignation. And I was like, they don't fucking care. This company doesn't care. Like, uh, so I said. I said if if Ellen Pow actually does step down and resign as CEO that I'd vape 15 milliliters of 8% honey and sure as shit 3 days later she uh decided to resign and you're a man of your word <laughs> unfortunately yeah <laughs> and you survived <laughs> yeah I, I I don't like to bamboozle you know and it produced the most epic of all flavored oats it tastes like growing up in Ohio. Yeah, <laughs> and dumpster flowers. I mean, that one's that one's. Re Man, I used to work. I used to work at a garden center. So, like, when we would clean, because you you have to clean uh, plants, you know, to in order to not waste uh, nutrients on dying flowers and shit like that, dying stems. You got to clean them, and so we'd have like. A garbage can with us and as we'd go around and pick dead flowers off of all of these display plants toss them in even the plants that weren't on display so we'd end up with like a, uh, a 50 gallon garbage can just half full of clippings and trimmings from plants that were just dead and at the end of the day that's exactly what it smelled like just decaying plant matter <laughs> with a slight so, yeah. of sweetness yeah <laughs> Yeah, there is there is definitely that, that hint of sweetness. And it's not your typical like lingering sweetness like sucralose gives you or something like that, but it is an inherent, like somewhat floral sweetness, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's not they 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 got it down where like honey has a different sweetness than everything. They just didn't get the flavor of the honey down in any way. Yeah, a lot of them didn't, but um if you think about like the actual flavor of honey minus how sweet it is 
uh, a lot of these do kind of emulate that a little bit anyway, uh, mm -hmm. with that somewhat earthy, like you said. Uh, you know, the the ba their balance is just off. Yeah, the, the balance and the flavors are just extremely off. But let let's not generalize before we break all of them down. Yeah, well, there are some good ones. At eight percent, we know that honey. That's the ridiculous, right? <laughs> Eight percent TFA honey is ridiculous. I d discovered that any percent of TFA honey is ridiculous. Yeah, you yeah. Sound like crazy low, didn't you? Like 0.03 percent or something. So, yeah. So a few years ago, I was a very new mixer, and I'd already read warnings about TFA honey, but I just really, really wanted to vape honey. And I'd already figured out that some flavors weren't um, weren't good, uh, or that they did taste good to me at a lower percent, lower amount than what people you know, we're complaining about like blackberry mm. TFA. That's another TFA example. Blackberry is yeah. pretty good. As long as you keep it under 1% after that, it becomes kind of a floral nightmare. I mean, really any blackberry too. FA blackberry is just as intimidating and terrifying. Oh, it is. Yeah. It's more so. Um, yeah. but the, the TFA honey, um, I figured, well, you know, maybe it'll be okay. at Like 1%. No, no, I have PTSD from that. And, uh, it tasted mostly like a meth lab. I thought, <laughs> yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? it, it does. Not that I know what that tastes like, but <laughs> well, I know what that tastes like, and that it, it's what it tastes like to me. And then, uh, you know, sometime later, someone posted a recipe, and it had zero point two five percent TFA honey in there. Like that's just a quarter of a percent. So I said something about how it looked like a good recipe, except for that TFA honey. And the guy was like, "No, it's really good. Just try it." So I did, and it was not good. <laughs> And then <laughs> this past week, I'm like, okay, we're doing an episode on honey. I've got, to, I've got to try this one more time. I at first I had initially made it at zero point one percent, but I, you know, people are like that's going to be so gross, and um, I let myself get talked into diluting that down to zero point zero two five percent. Even down that low, it's not obviously as overpowering, <laughs> but uh, the honey sweetness tastes a bit rotten, like Skittles was saying, like old moldy flowers. And this, the primary flavor is just like, there's, it's grandma's cat pissed in her potpourri is what it tastes like. It's really, there's no usable amount of that flavor. I think it's the second worst flavor on the planet. Could but very I, well uh, be. One on one cheese. Treat. What's the first? What's the first? <laughs> the one on one cheese. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't get any worse than that. It's but absolutely it's terrible. But, when are you guys uh, doing your cheese episode? Yeah, <laughs> cheese. You guys, <laughs> you guys should do like a straight dairy episode where you do like FA milk, TFA dairy, um, Flavora brie. Did we already do yogurts? We've we've got yogurts and savory on the calendar, so it's it's coming. Oh, savory. Okay, Maybe it'll so call on savory then. One, yeah, one, to, one of you two are going to have to do one on one cheese for sure. <laughs> I've been lost the grab, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'll Dave's you mine. <laughs> Dave's made his quota for life. <laughs> we'll just play that. Yeah, yeah. I'll just play that. Um, TFA does have a flavor with honey in the name that's not bad. Actually, a couple of them, if you use them carefully. Mm -hmm. The black honey. Ooh, that one I do like, yeah. I guess it's supposed to be black honey. It's supposed to be a tobacco flavor. Yeah, it's definitely a tobacco flavor, but it's not like super tobacco. -y. You know, it's not like got that really full on tobacco flavor. It's just kind of earthy, dark, a little. Would you say it's smoky? Um, it kind of it's kind of dirty. It reminds yeah, me dirty of, is better. I don't I don't mean dirty in a bad way. It reminds me of uh, RY4 double. Mm. In yeah. that it's not really a tobacco. It's just kind of dirty in an interesting way. Yeah. But it's like it's like RY4 double, but with honey instead of caramel. Mm, that's a very good way of putting it. Yeah, but it, there's a licorice note in there that just totally ruins it for me. I cannot. Oh really? I cannot do. The anise or licorice. It tastes like good and plenty candy. What percent did you mix that one up at? Two. Two? Okay. Yeah, I think I did it around two or three. I don't remember the licorice note, but I don't have any handy here to taste. Huh. You tried that one, Skittles? Black honey? TFA? Um, I've I haven't tried the actual flavor, but I've had it in a mix and it mm. it works all right. I mean, none of the honey flavors I would say are sufficient for to for an actual honey. But if I was going to use a honey um, in probably a bakery, I'd say TFA black honey. Just from just from the notes that I took uh, 
when I got a mix sent to me. Yeah, I could see that working in a bakery. Was that it a tobacco mix? Well. Um, yeah. Yeah. It yeah. Seems, I've heard it will work in there. I don't know. If, I'm ta- if I taste licorice, I'm out. So. In all honesty, <laughs> uh, I, I could imagine most of the honeys working in a tobacco mix just because of their floralness. I, I believe that'd be cut pretty well by the, the, the actual tobacco flavors, and it might even accent them well. That's really the only thing that I can see honeys being efficient in. Yeah. It's the one safe play with honey. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, for sure. That's, that's the good way to put it. All of the others could easily be a disaster. Mm-hmm. Have you tried the TFA Honey Circle cereal? Uh, yeah, I've tried that one. Um, gosh, what did I think about that one? Tried it on the uh, cereal, cereal one. Uh, from what I remember, it was okay. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of honey from it, but it was kind of sweet. Uh, I take it you had that one there? Oh, yeah, I've played with this one because I really, for some reason, I wanted a Honey Nut Cheerio tobacco. <laughs> oh, okay. I don't know why I wanted that. I just did. Um, and I still kind of do. I just haven't worked it out yet. But, uh, it, yeah, it, it, it's it's one of those that's also pretty really, really strong, especially for TFA. It's like half a percent is plenty. It's actually better at half a percent than 2% because oh, okay. as it goes up, it just gets more dry, like, dry oat or multi-grain cereal that's not sweet yeah um and lower down it actually has a little bit more of something that might be honey coming in and it's smoother it, it just gets too dry and sharp as you go up so i'm going with half a percent is about where you want to use that one in a mix and uh if you get this dry cereal with a little honey it needs help if you want to use it for a cereal, it needs like some meringue or something and some milk, obviously, for the dryness. But I don't yeah, know. obviously, it, dry. it should work with a tobacco as long as it's not adding dry onto dry and making it too dry to be enjoyable. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, anybody who's tried that and thought it was terrible because they tried it at 5% because, you know, people say, oh, TFA, 5%, I've tried it a tenth of that, and you might be surprised. Yeah, I was trying, <clears throat> looking for a good honey nut Cheerio, not tobacco, but a honey nut Cheerio as well. And so I tried, picked up a couple of the one-on-one oh, okay. honey cereals. Um, and the, the first one I tried, which was okay, it was one-on-one baked honey oats. Dave, you tried that one as well, right? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. did you get like, um, to me, it's kind of like what, FA breakfast cereal should have been like it's uh, like it's okay like it's a little weedy and dark but it's like it's not very honey do you know what I mean <laughs> like, I don't I don't I don't think I've only tried it at three percent it was my first experience with it just getting ready for the show uh, I wanted to be able to see if I could have something to say about it and it's um it's not really living up to its name baked yeah. honey oats but it's also not terrible. Yeah. By any means, I could see it's doing me. lots of fun things with it. It's not one of their, you know, oh, one-on-one yuck flavors. It just doesn't quite live up to what it's supposed to be. I thought it tasted more like molasses than honey. Yeah, it had like a, a darker. Sharp. I think that's the oats coming through. Because it is like an oat cereal, you know, like a, an oaty type, type cereal. Um, but yeah, it wasn't quite honey. Yeah, it was it, on the on the on the on the front end. It was sharp and kind of bitter, like molasses. Mm-hmm. And the, the end, they call it a smooth, milky finish, but it tasted more buttery than milky to me, or maybe like buttermilk. And um, again, yeah. not yucky, but it does hmm. taste a lot more like old butter than fresh milk. Yeah. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. But uh, the flavor is full. It has full mouthfeel, lots of body, and it does. Even though that that um, it starts off a little sharp, um, it finishes really smooth so there's mm-hmm. that it just it's not oh my god honey nut cheerios yeah so putting that one aside then i also tried one-on-one honey puffs is that honey puffs Ooh, yes how was that? i have not tried that one that Are those one like smacks or something quite yes. pleasant it's a it, uh, reminiscent of capella cereal 27 only more honey like it has a like, light kind of corn 
puffy, like almost like honeycomb cereal texture to it. Um, and it just, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't dry, but it, it, um, it wasn't mushy either. So like it had a decent, it has like a decent cereal type texture to it. Maybe not as AP heavy as Capella Cereal 27, like as corny as that. It's like a mixture of wheat and corn cereal. <clears throat> but it's not bad. It's a bright, honey-flavored, frosted cereal. I tried it at uh, 3% as well. 3%? Yeah. I got the wrong nice. one. It sounds yummy. It yeah, was, uh, what was the name of that one again? One-on-one. Um, one-on-one Honey Puffs. Honey Puffs, that's right. Yeah. Yummy. I'll have to try that one out then because I always love the smacks. This was my favorite. One of my favorites. <laughs> I haven't had that in ages. Sounds good, though. You got any other one-on-one -on -one, uh, honey flavors? Uh, Dave does. I do. One-on-one uh, <laughs> -on -one honey. These are, I just uh, tried them all at half a percent. Um, the honey is just like a dark, raw honey. It's really warm, like in an odd way, almost boozy, um, a little floral at first. And then the rest of the exhale, I just got like blank v -sweet, VG sweetness, like raw VG, like it just wore out on me. Um, and the mouthfeel, soapy. And in the aftertaste and in the air, in the room note, pee. <laughs> so yeah typical yeah. Uh, not like overwhelming cat pee tfa honey but yeah it smelled like pee it made me it made it smell like somebody was in the room with me who had peed their pants oh god <laughs> you love that smell right it's uh, triggering it's, the best. it's just <laughs> triggering me it's like <laughs> just talking about it like i can i can fucking sense it it's so bad dude i bet your room smelled like pee for a week yeah, it was yeah. bad. It was definitely bad. Like we'd be we'd be cleaning and like we'd vacuum and just all of a sudden that it would <laughs> come out of the <laughs> Yeah. Come out of the carpet. Yeah. It's like, like, hey, remember me? <laughs> How long did it linger in your sinus cavities before you could taste things normally again? Oh, I don't even know. I wasn't even paying attention to that. I was just <laughs> I just wanted to be done. <laughs> like, yeah. They have one called Honey Two, where I guess they tried to correct that. <laughs> um, it, it tastes like grandma's perfume candy. Like it's, okay. it's really sweet, um, but but rather than a dark sweetness, um, like a natural honey flavor, it tastes like candy. And then the floral edge tastes like a lilac, like bad mm -hmm. lilac flavored candy. It oh was yeah, horrible. Yeah, it was horrible. Uh, so I can't recommend that one either. And then let me get this. You're gonna, you might want to see this. This is called one on one real honey. You see that? Let me see if I can get that. Jesus fuck. Yeah. This is uh Is that bottle black or is that the concentrate? No, the bottle's clear. Oh god. The bottle's clear. <laughs> <laughs> this absolutely I, I did this for you guys, but it, it cannot possibly be safe to vape. Holy it, macaroni. It comes out it comes out <laughs> black as night and it's almost <laughs> as thick as toothpaste. Holy jeez. <laughs> He's about ten. You I, vaped I, it? I vaped it. I vaped it because I wanted to. Be let's here. let's let's see you put a drip on the back of your hand just to see how thick it is of the of the actual flavor. Yeah, and then watch you eat it. Eat it. What the hell? <laughs> Why do you want me to eat it? No, no, that way you can see if it like you gotta it taste has it. promise. You know, you All taste right. it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. What, this is taste it on right. the nose and on Look the tongue. This. Watch. Watch it comes out. It, Oh my God! See it dripping. Still there is long. no way that's safe. <laughs> yeah. that, is that just? That, they that just can't put, be good. Oh, Look how long it like, takes to run down my hand. Yo, it looks like blood. <laughs> yeah, it's like, the, it it's, looks like coagulated blood. Yeah, it's thicker than 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 drying blood. It's maybe it's they just took blood. a bunch of bees and squashed them up and. Well, <laughs> yeah. that's it. So, like I said, it can't that's be safe to vape. Lick it. Lick it. Lick it. I mean, I got to get it off here somewhere. I like it. Know. <laughs> Not the worst reaction. No, it tastes <laughs> like um, it tastes like teriyaki sauce. Hmm. 
Mm. Like, honey, have you ever had honey teriyaki? <laughs> it looks yeah. like teriyaki sauce. Yeah, that's yeah. What <laughs> You're going to start using it in your teriyaki sauce? It's actually pretty good. That's I mean, cool. yeah. It didn't, I mean, it, at least now it has a use because you're, you're not putting that shit in another video. <laughs> no, never again. I've got, where's the bottle? I, I will show you my tester. I, I don't know what I did with it, but I'm, I'm not ever going to vape it again. But actually, no, that wasn't gross at all. It was actually pleasant in a teriyaki yeah. sauce kind of way. <laughs> Let's see. I don't, I don't even see one-on-one -on -one real honey on all the flavors. It's well, called real honey. It's there. Hold on. Real. Oh, there it is. Someone used it in one recipe at one percent. Well, yeah. oh, at half at half percent. Sorry, at half percent. Um, there's a public. Uh, there is. It's showing one recipe at an average of point five percent but it doesn't show me the recipe at the bottom and it doesn't show me that it. So it's a private recipe. It's, it's not showing me as a private recipe either. That's weird. Huh? Hmm. Well, it takes about uh, 10 times the usual amount of shaking to get it mixed thoroughly in a 70, 30. And even then some of it comes out of solution. First of all, when you put it in the bottle, it sinks straight to the bottom really fast. <laughs> And it spreads there like like an oil slick, only reverse. And it um, you, you shake it and shake it, and it comes out of solution, and you have to shake it again. Um, but, yeah, I did vape that, and it tastes um, kind of like a bit of honey candy with a little hint of burnt plastic. Oh, like, okay. Imagine it's what your kitchen would start to smell like if you put a bit of honey candy in the microwave, wrapper and all, in just <laughs> you know, five minutes or whatever. Um <laughs> It doesn't have any floral notes, doesn't have any urine of any human or animal species. The only off note that I got from it really was that burnt plastic flavor. But yeah, that can't be safe to vape. But it might so it's good stuff other than the plastic. It might make good teriyaki sauce, though. <laughs> I don't know. I looked at their website. They said it was in PG, but I was like, what's in PG? You saw how thick that you see all Yeah, oh, right. Look, just look. Watch this. That looks thicker than PG. It oh, is thicker it than most definitely look, is. Look at that. Look at it. Look at it. stringy. <laughs> yeah, it even. <laughs> Holy crap. Yeah, it's thicker than actual honey. He just wanted to show us that so that he could taste it again. He just wanted. Yeah, another, good, huh? He just wanted another taste. I didn't get enough dinner. Yeah. Anyway, that's so your barbecue sauce. Don't. Uh, yeah, oh, it tastes a little bit barbecuey. Yeah, when you lick it like that. Yeah, but I can even taste the burnt stuff that way, you know. Maybe so, it'd be a good one for the uh, barbecue sauce that people are trying to make. <laughs> uh, I'm not putting that in a vape ever again. That can't possibly. <laughs> I'd rather it's got smoking <laughs> definitely better for you than that. Um, yeah. But yeah, so don't buy that. <laughs> and Unless that's, you're uh, making a teriyaki sauce, you know. Yeah, or I might put it in a tea or something like that. Melt it in, if you know if I didn't have any actual honey in the house. Might work for that. Yeah. Kind of savory. Savory tea. Interesting. I don't know, man. I'm just I can safely warn you away from that one. <laughs> well, thank you for the warning. You're welcome. No one on one real honey. Not safe. Can't be safe. Uh that's speculation though. It's not libel or slander, right? <laughs> I don't want yeah. I don't want to get, <laughs> I don't want any more CEOs to sue me. <laughs> it's probably Five is enough. safe to vape. Probably perfectly safe to vape. Go right ahead. Any of it. <laughs> if, 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 if you please. <laughs> yeah. So. But I mean, it tastes better than a lot of other honey flavors. Yeah. Even when vaping the burning plastic flavor. It tastes better than Capella honey. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about Capella honey. Let's talk let's about Capi. And that's not just, not just the room note either. Like, <laughs> yeah. No, this stuff is funky. It's like. It's like astringent. Like I can taste the ammonia. Like it's just. It's Cappy, not... did you try it real low, half a percent or less? Half a percent. Yeah, I, same thing. Man, it's still sweet. getting it. Oh, yeah, okay. it's well, cat pee. It, it and wilted flowers. <laughs> okay. Cat yeah, pee and wilted flowers. Plant matter. Note. <laughs> and I will say, I think it primarily tastes like honey, but these are what sets it apart from anything else that tastes like honey. It, yeah, it, of all the honey, like it's yeah. not not authentic. 
you know, I mean, as far as all the other honey flavors go, it's, I mean, it tastes like a honey flavor. And then it also has all these other things wrong with it. <laughs> Lots of cat pee and some decaying flowers. Yeah, like you can't yeah. vape it. I couldn't vape my tester more than one or two drips. Like, You're just, like I'm done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got tired of it real fast. Yeah. Yeah, not, not a good one. I don't think anybody's got any recipes using that one. If they do, they're doing it wrong. <laughs> or maybe they're just trying to make it work. Who knows? Yeah. Oh. Sorry, my internet connection is misbehaving. Right, let's let's give these people some hope. Yeah, flavor art, honey. Yeah. Flavor art, honey. I think well, flavor art, honey, not is not it's, hopeless at all. It's not bad. No, it's not hopeless. It's no. it's definitely up there as far as these honeys go. It's, it's still I got think... some of that. Uh, Ammonia slash urine, and it's really it. strong. I don't. It is well, strong. First of all, the flavor itself, yeah, it's really, really strong. A quarter of a percent is more than you'll ever need, or at least no more than you won't need more than that at all. And I did yeah. have. I even went up to half a percent, and I didn't notice it get any stronger. But I did notice that you can go down to like point one percent and get the exact same note at half a percent. You know, because yeah. it just. And it's a bully, you know, like it's gonna stomp over things that you put in a mix, you know, so you have to have to yeah. be careful. But it's a good, it's a decent honey flavor. I don't really get the ammonia when vaping it, the the, the pee taste or smell or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit noticeable to me when walking into a cloud of it, but yeah. just a little. It definitely doesn't smell like ask me what I'm vaping because it smells so good, you know? It's more of a morbid curiosity. We're like, yeah. like what are what you is vaping? That? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Why? It, if TFA honey is cat piss, this is more like human after drinking a lot of Coors Light, and it's so, and, and maybe they're a diabetic too because it's it's awfully <laughs> sweet. <laughs> but it is. It does have some sweetness to it. Yeah. No, uh, I enjoy that, the like, flavor. There, I've sweetness. had some very enjoyable recipes and even made one with this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't. It's a good. It's a solid flavor. You just gotta. And, and after a few days, like it's not as floral as as it is fresh. So it does the floralness does die does seem to die down a little bit. I mean, it's still yeah. a floral honey, but it's not not as bad as it is when you first mix it. Well, yeah, but mm -hmm. even fresh, it's not a perfumey floral. It's like a deeper, yeah. lower floral note. It's just enough to yeah, remind you more where, like bright earth where right? honey comes from. Yeah, bright yeah. earth is that what you said? Yeah, bright earth. Yeah, like that makes bright sense. earthy note. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, then there's Flavora honeybee, which is I think super floral. Yeah, so it is definitely more on the floral side. You like um, this one, right? This I do right like up, this one. Right up your weird little alley. <laughs> yeah, it can be pretty good. Um, you know, as long as you're welcoming that little bit of that floral note. Uh, but it's nice and sweet, too. It's got that floral sweetness, uh, which, again, you know, floral. If, if you don't want floral, then uh, this probably isn't the honey for you. But if and you want honey, I then you... Too, I noticed that after a few days of steeping, mm. the floralness, like the in-your-face floralness, does die down a bit. Like yes. the sweetness of the floral-type sweetness remains, but it's not as, like, crazy floral... As no, just breath. shoving flowers up your nose. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I definitely it like to. It. It's very off-putting. Oh yeah, how, like floral stuff. How much of it are you using the Flavora honeybee? Oh, like half percent, quarter percent, like a drop in a bottle. So I had I had a quarter percent flesh freshly mixed, and I was like, "This is way too floral." What is no? <laughs> this flowers, and I even like some floral flavor, so I didn't hate it. But I just I didn't want to be punched in the face with flower. Yeah, <laughs> because yeah. there's a. There's a power. power. There's, there's a, tried it after a few days. <laughs> yeah, I tried it after a few days, but before I did that, I diluted it down to half, so like zero point one three. Mm -hmm. The floral calmed down quite a bit that way, both fresh and um, after steeping for, you know, five days, five or six days. Um, yeah, and it didn't lose much of the honey sweetness. So the honey sweetness that's yeah. underneath that flower doesn't doesn't dial back as fast as the flower does. So I'm thinking that quarter percent is more than you will ever want to use unless you're like making, you know, a flower power vape. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. But uh, yeah, and I, still, even still, then though, even after it dies down a bit, even down that low, I think that the flavor is probably going to be limited to like floral recipes. Yeah, it's very bright. Maybe some fruit mixes. Mm. Probably not going to work as well with creams. Yeah. And you could just well, forget, you could just forget about bakeries. It's not ever going to taste like you want honey to taste on a bakery. I don't I don't believe. I'd love for it to be proven wrong, but I don't so think that's going to work. I've tried a honey t that I think I haven't mixed with it, but I think it might be good with creams or bakeries. Oh, really? What is that? Is Loran's honey. Loran's, huh? Yeah, Loran's honey. So it's um Is that one safe to vape? <laughs> There's it's always know. a question with Lorraine. I should have looked it up, but I didn't. Um, I just assume I think I got it on at Bull City or something. So I don't know. It's on them if it's not. No, I don't know. But um, <laughs> I hope you made a will first. <laughs> no, it's it's similar to FA honey, but it's a little bit darker and a little bit less floral. Um, so I think that it would be. In fact, I'm, I was working on a honey cream. Uh, recipe for something a while back and then after testing this I'm like oh shoot like I wish I would have tested this earlier because I think it would go really good with like a honey and vanilla or maybe even like a honey bakery it's so, it's not super dark let's like flavor milk and or milk and honey but it mm. is a little bit darker than flavor art honey so besides the honey nut uh, Cheerio tobacco dumb idea, I had this idea that I was going to make after trying, you know, before I tried all these honeys that I was going to make a uh, make a honey butter flavor. Like, you know, water, you don't oh. know what Whataburger is. There's a restaurant called Whataburger. Whataburger. Yeah, you know what Whataburger is. And they have oh, something yeah. called a called a honey butter chicken biscuit. Mm. There's a steakhouse in Ohio that serves honey butter with their rolls, and it's yeah. so good. Oh, man. Yeah, I thought, I'll make a honey butter vape. It'll be real simple. Just some butter and some honey, maybe some of that Capella. Um, uh, what is it? What am I thinking of? The honey? butter, butter, buttercream? Golden butter? Oh, buttercream. Buttercream. Buttercream with some actual oh. butter and then some honey, and it would be just simple and it would be so good, but I did not find a honey that would possibly do that without a lot of work in any of this, but maybe, maybe it's because I didn't have that LA honey. Either. Yeah. Lorraine honey or, you know, even. Yeah. Lorraine honey. Or I'm even thinking, I'm even wondering if like one-on-one -on -one honey puffs, like even though it does have a little bit of the graininess for the cereal, it, but in a butter mix, it might be okay. Yeah. I could see that nuttiness being welcome. Yeah. And butter can help, or I could just, Put it on a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. I didn't work. I'll just put a biscuit in there. But yeah, none of them would work for that that I tried. But yeah, try, uh, give Lauren Honey a shot. You might like it. Another so flavor. Kind of on the Thanks. polar opposite of Lauren Honey. Is it clear? What's that? Loran, is the Lauren Honey clear? Yeah. Yeah, it's clear. Okay. Um, it's, mm, it's a little amberish. But it's it's not like colored. Okay. Um. So on the polar opposite of that, I'm gonna go with vape train sweet honey because the vape train sweet honey is very light and bright and has like a fruity type sweetness to it. Have you guys tried vape train sweet honey? How much of that did you try? How much did, did you vape train sweet honey? Did you put one percent? I did that too, and I oh, yeah, thought it. I got it at two percent. It reminded me very much of licking honey-flavored edible body powder off of someone, but less fun. <laughs> <laughs> it I, definitely it's, smells like floral ever, or powdery. Or there are several brands of that stuff. Kama Sutra makes some, and there's a couple other ones. Have you ever? Okay, you know what? Now that you say that, I told you. I <laughs> totally get that. Uh huh. It's, it's very floral. Yes. It's powdery and it tastes like that powder, the way that powder is flavored. Yes. Um, and you know that's that's great, but it's less fun to vape than it is to lick off of someone. Mm. Um, I guess that's true of most things. But <laughs> um, no, but it's 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 really sweet, but it's kind of mm. floral, and that floral is bright and reminds me of that powdery stuff. It's it has a powdery texture. It's a bit dry. It's not wet and sticky. Like yeah, this floral note is definitely more like flowers than you know just an uh, you know 
that floral note, right? I, I feel like I might even taste like some lavender or something here. The thing that really drove edible body powder home for me though, was that I got like, even and it could have been my imagination after I'd already made that connection, but it seems like there's a little bit of musk under that floral note. Yeah. It's got some muskiness to it. Yeah. See, just Which like I think is their that body powder off. Uh, I, I mean, that, that's, that might their, be just their skin. <laughs> yeah right right exactly it's the body odors <laughs> it's just the natural you know bodily musk and yeah it does a great job of recreating that it brought me right back to that but other than that i don't know and i think that muskiness is sort of why they're saying it's honey right because that's sort of the only thing here that i get that's like honey out of it Did it is a little bit sweet fruitiness from it uh let's see Fruity, no. Yeah, like like fruity, more fruity than floral. It tastes like fruity is about the only thing it's going to be good for. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Because of the way it it's, tastes, but I don't know what that powdery bright. thing. Like it's very bright. Very bright. It is a very bright flavor, uh, which is interesting because a lot of these honeys are definitely leaning towards more of a dark floral quality. Uh, this one's definitely brighter. So for something completely different, what about the Vape Train Honeycomb? That one is quite a bit different. It's good. I mean, it's because it's not, I mean, that's made after like the Honeycomb candies, right? Which is more like a toffee. It's a toffee. Yeah. It's not honey, but it's good. I love this flavor. Yeah. Yeah, I do like this flavor a lot. And like you said, it's not really honey, but it is pretty good. I almost get like a creaminess from it. Um. It almost reminds me a little bit of like the same kind of base that's in like a TFA a vanilla bean ice cream or vanilla custard a little bit for some odd reason. I'm not sure if you guys are getting it at all. It finishes really creamy and smooth. If that, Yeah, it does finish creamy and smooth. It's, I thought it was strange that it started off really sticky, yeah, sweet, like, really, yeah. really sweet and sticky right at, right at the bat. And then at the end there, it's smoother and still very sweet. The only thing that I, in the middle, I got kind of like a grittier, drier sort of, it almost tastes baked, which it shouldn't, I don't think, for like accuracy purposes, but it didn't hurt anything. It was interesting. Um, but yeah, it's, it does a really good job of being like that toffee type candy. Yeah, I could see a lot of different applications for this. Uh, it seems like one that would be a bit more versatile than some bit of these like, other honeys. Like peanut brittle with honey instead of peanuts? Yeah. 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 My favorite chocolates, like whenever I go to a candy store, I like to get the honeycombs. And it's just that toffee covered in chocolate? Yep. I've never had that before. Now I must mm. try. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah, JTH Reviews says he gets a TFA Honeysuckle from Vape Train Sweet Honey. I could see that a little bit because of that floral note. For sure. Yes, they definitely have some similarities. The, the little floral edge on there is pretty similar to that. Yep. I'm surprised I didn't make that connection. How, yeah, high, you did you guys, the, how, how high did you try the Vape Train Honeycomb? Uh, I think I've taken it to 4%. I've got a 3% in this tester. Yeah, 4 or 5% is the highest yeah. I've gone. It's good up that high. And I yeah. think it needs more than, it at least needs more than two to fill in, to get filled out. Otherwise, it's a little thin. Yeah, even at 3%, it's a little bit lighter than I want it to be. But that's, you know, for a single flavor. So to mix, yeah, I'd say. So what are, gonna, what are we going to do with it? Emily's going to cover it in chocolate. Apparently. Yeah. Covered in chocolate? That'd be I'm good. putting anything and everything. <laughs> it's, it's Man, I've been good. feeling bananas lately. I've, I've mixed it with some it. banana. I think it's a good sweetener for a lot of things because it's yes. so gooey and sweet. And it just, Absolutely. But like it's not, like it's not um, oh, what's the word? Like It's not it's intrusive. Not it's not invasive. Intrusive. Thank you. Like yeah. it's it's mild. It's not a bully. You know, you can, I, mm. I, I can put in a lot of bakeries and a lot of creams for just some bakeries for it. sure i can't yeah, uh, i cream. can't think of a honey flavor that would be better for a bakery because even though it's really more of a toffee it has that honey note on top and a little bit in the finish mm -hmm. it, 
probably would work really well for that. Yeah. I agree. This is a good one. This is going to see some... I think uh, it would be a good mix of like, like a Laurent and Tony or something to kind yeah. of, you know... Oh, yeah. A darker, you know, sweeter... More rounded honey. I want to see how it works as a meringue substitute. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I can see that. That creaminess for sure. And it's got almost, yeah, with that creaminess of milk, you know. Have you tried this one, Skittles? No, no. Um, so... My experience with TFA honey has turned me off to the vast majority of any honey flavor. Like when I, when I get a honey flavor, I'm not all that interested in trying it. Yeah. Um, Flavora honeybee I've tried because people actually talked about it well. Um, and then flavor art honey I've tried because people have mentioned that it's decent as well. But I think besides you'd be that, safe with honeycomb skittles because it's not really okay. Um, yeah, you, you like uh, you like vanilla bean ice cream, right? TFA? No, I mean, <laughs> no, okay. he does not. I <laughs> Never mind absolutely it. despise that flavor. <laughs> okay, really, you despise it? Yeah, it's I get no vanilla. It's straight okay. pepper. It's ground black pepper. <laughs> All right, Paul, have you been so turned off by honey that you haven't tried flavora milk and honey? Oh no, I tried flavora milk and honey because it doesn't. It's smell. not a honey flavor, right? Yes, yeah, it's not, not a honey, honey flavor. Honey. <laughs> that's that's not honey. That flavor yeah. in there, it's it's yeah. something dark and sweet. It but tastes it's... like dolce de leche. You know? Yes, it really it does. does. It tastes and it smells like dolce de leche. I feel like people say it tastes like honey because that's in the name, but it doesn't yeah, really. Power it's suggestion. like yeah. it's yeah, yeah, power of suggestion. It's like uh, I mean, if if they called it cream and caramel, people would buy that or butterscotch brown sugar milk. <laughs> yeah. it's so, yeah. And it's so versatile too because you can go as low as like half a percent to add like a dark sweetness to mm. almost anything, or you can go up if you really want that flavor. You can go up, you know, three, four percent, and it's just it's really good. It's just it's thick and it's dark and it's just it's almost, it's almost buttery, like it's rich. It's yeah, very it's rich. very rich. It's like extra heavy <laughs> cream. With dark caramel, like it's tastes like dulce de leche, like Skittle said. It, well, it has to seem like a little chocolatey sort of thing. It does, yeah. I would say it has like a chocolatey, maybe even like a coffee note to it, like very mildly coffee. But maybe that's just like an extra strong cocoa that I'm getting. But it's definitely, it's definitely got something else going on in there that's like coffee or cocoa or something. It has beautiful mouthfeel. Yes, it does. Yes, yeah, it's really good. Okay, I'm glad that you weren't scared of that one. No, <laughs> no. I mean, it's it's a great, it's a it's a great flavor, but it's not honey. It's not honey. Yeah, yeah. Don't go into that thinking you're gonna get honey because you're not. It's not milk. It's not honey. But, but it's it is delicious. delicious. No, yeah, it's not milk either. It's got milk in the name, and it's really <clears throat> creamy, but it doesn't yeah. taste like milk. Yeah. No. I don't think the name mm. is even supposed to make you think it tastes like. I don't even think it's supposed to taste like. Maybe it's like that. That was it. The verse in the Bible. It was like yeah, it's, it's a. It's just supposed to be like rich, you know. Verse like, in yeah. the Bible about giving them giving the Israelites land flowing with milk and honey. Well, you wouldn't take that literally either, because if the land was flowing with milk and honey, it would be sticky, and after a very short time, it would be very stinky. Yeah, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> very short. Time. You, you can't take yeah, everything so literally, unless you you know. Yeah, people got autism or something. I'm not <laughs> mad that it's not honey though, because if it was honey, it wouldn't be as good. Very. I good. think it would be kind of nice if it did taste like milk and honey, just because that would be pretty awesome, I think. But I'm I'm happy with it the way it is. We need yeah. a good dulce de leche flavor. Yeah, it does. It does hit the marks the there. It's a little bit. There's a little bit something baked in there, maybe or toasted. Mm -hmm. But it kind it's, of that. Kind of like a waffle cone or ego waffle or something. <laughs> yeah. Just a light hint of it. I don't know. It's whatever it's it is. It's a very it's intriguing weird flavor. And complicated and wonderful. Yeah. One of my uh, so, that's right. You have a really you have a really simple recipe with that, don't you? It's like four ingredients for tired ballots. Uh yeah, actually I do. Uh, it's called where is it? <clears throat> I think it's just called milk and honey. Um, yep. And uh, it's See if I can put it up here. It's just a uh, one percent flavora cream, two percent uh, TFA graham cracker, one point five percent milk and honey uh, by Flavora, and then one point five percent TFA toasted marshmallow. 
I've had that mix. It's pretty pretty tasty. Yeah, and then I recommend adding um, for people who want it a little bit sweeter, perhaps one uh, percent of TFA meringue, um, or sorry, FA meringue. Um, but either way is fine, you know. <laughs> I usually make it without it just because I don't have much of a sweet tooth, uh, and that makes for a delightful sort of simple bait, you know. Especially with that milk and honey in the mouth feel, like you were saying, like, oh my gosh, no great job with that. There is there is a honey flavor that's not labeled as honey, in my opinion. Oh yeah, um, smooth vanilla. You think smooth vanilla? Really? Smooth vanilla. By if you, if you, yeah, if you go over like half a percent, it gets a very honey-like floral. I could see that. Yeah. The, the floralness, I don't know if I've noticed, but it does have some of the, like, it's definitely a, a vanilla that doesn't strike me as just vanilla, right? Mm-hmm. When I taste that, I know I'm getting something else with it, but I wasn't ever, ever really able to to note what it was, but it Can was you put kind of that sweet. Much of it in a recipe without it just rolling over everything, though. Um, I use it in a uh, a pod recipe with uh, flavora spearmint, I believe. Oh wow! Ooh, yeah, that so I do like good. yeah, I do like a. Uh, it it ends up tasting like uh, double mint gum. Is that a yeah? That is that? Do you sell that wow. recipe to someone or? No, it's like 1% flavora smooth vanilla and 1% flavora spearmint. Thank you. I'm going to be mixing nice. that up. <laughs> it's super easy, real refreshing. That's actually what I got in here now. Nice. Unless it's it like an off, iPhone. Unless it gives <laughs> off a smell like honey, I imagine it has a nice little uh, room note too for what little tiny puff you're going to exhale. Yeah. It works really well in pod devices. I think I think smooth vanilla is one of the best pod device flavors out but when used in in sub ohm and above 0.5 percent i definitely get honey from it cool awesome. very interesting thanks for that i want yeah, to no talk problem. about another flavor it's that's labeled honey but it's not honey at all okay there's more west, yeah flavor west honey oh yeah that one what the <laughs> hell is i get that candy thing? necklace from it like oh, really? yeah, <laughs> sweet and tart, like or nerds or something. Like Wow. That is definitely not honey. It's not honey to me. Someone said it tasted like gumballs, and now I cannot yeah. untaste that. Yeah. I didn't think gumballs <laughs> until after they said it. So there's some power of suggestion stuff going on. <clears throat> what I did taste was really hard to describe because it's it's bright and sweet and kind of chalky. Like sweet and tart, or gumballs, or candy necklace. <laughs> like it's it, it almost not... pours, pushes floral on top, but not quite. And then down, you know, in the finish there, it's real. It's buttery uh, and rich, and uh, there's some vanilla. It's very thick. Yeah. It tastes like there's some dap in there, but it doesn't taste anything it's like, like honey. That how like you know when you whoever was a gram or someone said gumballs, they said like gum has vanilla in it. It helps sell that <laughs> that gumball, you mm. know, because it, it is at the base of it is very rich and like vanilla like or or just dappy, heavy sugary sweetness too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and yet at the same time, I can tell that it's supposed to taste like honey because it leaves, even though I don't taste it when didn't taste it when vaping it at half a percent, it leaves that cloud of of slightly ammonia like odor in the air. So it's like they tried to make honey, and that was, I don't know what. <laughs> I don't know how it's they flavor that take on honey. <laughs> they obviously put whatever that molecule is that smells like cat piss in there to some amount, trying to make a honey. But what came out isn't honey at all. Yeah, it's not. Well, they probably honey. figured it's very they weird. They do candy pretty well, so why not just put some cat bee in some candy? Call it a day. There's <laughs> honey. It's a but good why is it so rich in vanilla? It's not gross. It's just. And I'm going to be using it in some mixes, but just not as a honey. Well, don't yeah. remind me not to take that mix out with me when I go out. I don't want people going, what's that stench? So that's one that Skittles should pick up, right? Flavor West Honey? I don't think he would. I don't think his wife <laughs> wants that in their house. No, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
probably still the house. When was that? Skittles was that was that like two and a half. 2015? Uh, that was like two and a half or three years ago. I can't yeah. recall. Long time ago. Let's house is still recovering. Oh no, I moved out of that place. We're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> three. That was that was July thirty first, two thousand fifteen. Uh. Yep. Where does the so time go? Three years ago. Damn. It's over there. That's where the time went. <laughs> You got any more, Emily? Uh, let's see here. I've got one more. What is it? No, I don't. Delosi. Of course. Of course. Delosi, <laughs> honey. They have a honey. Uh, is it wonderfully because... mediocre? <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> this one's about as you know weird as all the other honeys. Um. Uh, tough to describe. The first thing I get from it is uh, it is a little bit harsh. Um, harsher than some of the other uh, honeys out there. It's one thing that I've come to notice with some of the Delosi, Delosi flavors is they can be a little harsh on the lungs. Uh, not so much in the throat, just in the lungs. Um, could also just be my neck, but <clears throat> this one seems to be hitting me a little bit more so. But this one tastes more to me like brown sugar than honey. Um, and that's not a bad thing. Uh, it's still got a little bit of that floral quality that a lot of the honeys have. But it tastes more like brown sugar than honey or like earthy. You know, it doesn't taste that earthy. Uh, but it is sweet, so that's nice. Yeah, it's really, uh, it doesn't have a lot of body, right? It's not thick. Um, uh, it's a little bit dry, but not that dry. Um, it sounds wonderfully mediocre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's sort of middle of the road. I mean, as far as honeys go, though, like a lot of the honey, like if this is the bar and Delosi's hitting the bar, a lot of the honeys are down here, and this honey's kind of right here. You got some that are up here, but... uh. Yeah, wonderfully mediocre, right? Uh, pretty good. Uh, I could see this being useful in uh, tobaccos, right? Um, with that brown sugar note and the floral wouldn't be uh, uh, off-putting. You know, so you can make a good honey tobacco with this, even though it wouldn't really taste like honey. Um, it does have a little bit of that stickiness, even though it's not real thick. It does have a little bit of that stickiness which I think is uh, kind of interesting. That stickiness is, is hard to do and, and useful if you can do it right. Yeah. If you know? Yeah, so I think I think it could be a useful flavoring indeed. Definitely better than some of these other honeys like Capella or TFA. Um, definitely beats those ones. Uh, maybe not quite as versatile as something like Date Train Honeycomb. But I could I could see I could see using this, especially in a tobacco. Of course, that's the default, right? Just throw it in the tobacco. <laughs> yeah, throw it in tobacco. Uh, but I've got this one mixed up at five percent, uh, as I normally do with with the low C flavors. So, yep, that's the low C, the low C honey. Pretty. So I I have a bonus pro tip for you guys. Okay, all right. I just dripped some watermelon on top of Flavor West Honey. Watermelon nerds. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yep. <laughs> hmm. Mix it up. Watermelon nerds with a pea room note. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. That's about all I want to be right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to try that now. I mean, I have the stuff. I might as well. Yep. I'll wait for you to put out a real recipe after you've tweaked it and played with it and figured out what okay. percent to mix it. Yeah. I don't have any water balloon mixed up right now. Mm. Um, Sweet. So is that all the honeys? No, I got to stack more of them, of course. Oh, nice. I can go through them as quick as possible. <laughs> um, stop me if you have any questions. Flavor Revolution Honey Cake. Oh, I'm interested in this one. I'm have you ever... 
have you ever eaten um, angel food cake that was very stale? Mm -hmm. Because it was like left out and all of the moisture yeah. disappeared yeah. out of it and so it was actually kind of crunchy. Yeah. Kind of crunchy. Yeah. It, and imagine that with some honey poured on it. Oh, okay. that's too bad. <laughs> it was. I didn't enjoy vaping it. I tried it three percent. Didn't enjoy vaping it because it irritated my throat. The honey cake, um, light honey floral type flavor, um, yeah, wh without any of that. No, um, it's a light one. Okay. And it doesn't have any of that gooey sort of heavy honey body. Okay. Um, but it does taste like a floral honey. But it's that sweet. that it. It tastes it's very sweet, yeah, but it tastes very much like angel food cake that's very, very stale and dry. Um, the whole thing is just kind of crunchy. Yeah. Yeah. More like a biscuit, I guess. Yeah, more like a biscuit with a honey that's a little too floral poured on it. And on a scale of one to litter box, I think maybe about a two. Okay. <laughs> so not awful. That's it's not good. bad. <laughs> no, the, the harshness was worse than the pea. Um, the, I don't know why I keep doing this to myself, but I tried German flavors, honey at two, one and half a percent. Cause I kept going down trying to think, well, maybe it's not so bad. The thing is the bottle I got from vapors tech suggests using it at 5%. Mm. which I find absolutely appalling and wrong. I can't imagine anybody doing that. Uh, I only made it a few drips at 2%. It was so bad. Um, but it does taste like it might work as a honey accent at dilution level, but I also thought that may be about TFA, and it, 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 it doesn't. Uh, just that horrendous cat piss ammonia flavor. It's very sweet and syrupy, but that, that pee is it's sickening. Interesting that the that the um, the floral note on it tastes very much like a chrysanthemum. Oh yeah, <laughs> like very like, specific. Like, like yeah, it's a very usually you just say floral because you don't really know how to place it. Um, and then with honey, you kind of think because it's honey, maybe clover or whatever. But this no really tastes like chrysanthemum smells. It's very odd. But but a, but a chrysanthemum that a cat peed on. <laughs> so not good, not good. <laughs> Even at half a percent, you know, that's very pretty, uh, pretty astounding. You're able to pick that up underneath the cat pee, man. That's a uh, <laughs> good work right there. Well, it's a good nose. Ever had, if you ever, ever had a cat pee in your flower garden, um, <laughs> not just flowers, Chris. Is that is that is that like a double entendre or something? Something like that, maybe. <laughs> 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 That's what they're calling it these days. Those word for Russian hotel bed. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, even at half a percent, and remember they recommend five percent. Even at half a percent, it's very strong and very bad at a seven day steep. I can't imagine. I don't even know why this is. Oh, it didn't even steep, steep out, huh? Well, no, it doesn't steep out at all. It's very horrendous. Um, I tried Hankson honey at a quarter percent. Oh yeah, how's the Hankson? It does not taste like honey at all. Not, yeah. Not even a little bit. Um, so what does it taste like? Sweetened rose water. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, so maybe using a bakula? Yes. Yes, it would work for that. It's a very, well, yeah, it would work for that. It's a very wet flavor. Okay. Okay. Uh, like, That's we're good. talking about like cactus level wet. Okay. Um, not, no. Not sticky sweet though. That's why when she said baklava, I was like, mm, maybe not. But then maybe it's it tastes like it's floral and it tastes more like a rose than than any other flower or floral flavor that I've tasted. What it's if you went for like a rose, rose ice cream or something? Uh, yeah, sure. I guess hmm. I've never eaten a rose ice cream. Is it made with actual roses or is it made with rose water? Rose water. Yeah, then it would it would do that. It's not terribly perfumey or unpleasant to vape. I didn't get any chemical tasting notes or or any pee. Uh, mm. It just it just tastes like rose water mm. and sweetness. Okay. Now Weird. sometimes, uh, and I, I agree with this that rose the the flavor of rose can come off as fecal. You get Ew. any of that from it? 
No, no, and it, it wasn't even musky okay. or anything. You just sweet okay, and rosy. I don't know. Interesting and wet. <laughs> just uh, like I like my women, sweet, rosy, and wet. <laughs> good lord. Um, okay. Uh, this in a wear of honey. I try that also. It How is that? One? Smooth and sweet, but also highly floral. Um, brighter than, say, flavor art honey, but still not perfumey. How would you compare it to a uh, Flavora honeybee? Um, hmm. Flavora honeybee is more floral than this. Um, and this has a touch of ammonia that I don't get from, uh, from Flavora. Honeybee. Um, I know because I've had it. I've had it in a mix that mm -hmm. that can steep out or be covered up um, after okay. a long. You be covered up or steep out after a long time. Um, somebody sent me a recipe that had that in there. Maybe a couple different recipes I've tried with it down real low, and it it does work uh, with bold flavors like fig and tobacco. Um, I've also read that it can steep out at like three weeks, but at one week it's still pretty present. So it'd be one of those things that's difficult to work with, requires some patience, and I think there are probably better options for honey than in Aware. But it, it wasn't like the worst thing ever. Yeah. So there's that. Sort of middle of the road. Yeah. And the only no, wait, you guys have tried another thing with honey. Emily, mm. I bet you've tried it. Emily, I know you've tried it. <laughs> Wonder Flavors Honey Roasted Peanuts. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. How's yeah, that one? I pulled it out, but I didn't mix it. I didn't it. try that one for Honey Week, though. Well, it's got yeah. a hell of a good honey note on it. I mean... It's very honey roasted. Goodness. It's, uh... I mean, it's not... It's How, not how's the nutty note? Your it smells... Roasted. It's super roasted nutty. Yeah, you know how there's coffee and there's dark roasted coffee? If yeah. dark roasted peanuts was a thing, it would be this. <laughs> but yeah, it's got is it a, it's really good. It's a good nut note. No, it's just strong roasted note. It's okay. not acrid. Um, and it has okay. that sort of lighter, sweet honey flavor on top. Very okay. dark. Like very um, dark. The nuts, What's a good the percent? nuts dark. Zero oh three quarters to a half. Three quarters. Yeah. Half less than one. Yeah, it's potent. It's quite mm. potent. Um, it is the only, it's good. And the honey note is good, accurate, I think, for honey roasted peanuts. Just a little darker than, than maybe perfection on that. But it, it's very dry. I was trying to do a lime roasted peanut vapor while back and was trying to use that. And oh. it was just too dark for it. But it's a yeah. really good, like if you want to, if you want a honey roasted nuts or any kind of dark roasted peanuts, this is a good one to use. It's really good. Would you say it's nut flavor. specifically peanut? Yeah. Yes. You can't get around it. It's peanut. It's okay. mostly peanut, but it does That's have, a good thing, in my opinion. It has a nice honey note that's not weird. Cool. So That sounds it's, like a fun it, one. It's dry. It makes me thirsty. to. Pretty dry? It. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Um, it would be good paired with, like, beer nuts. Like, that's, like, immediately what I thought when I smelled it. Yeah. I was like... Put this yeah, it's, beer it's very <laughs> very dark. Yeah, good though. It's it's and it does have a a decent honey note with it, you know. Yeah, isn't that the one you use for your maple nut things? Uh probably could be. Sorry. Yep. Thought I remember that. Yep. The last one I tried was um, super concentrate honey flu cured. Oh, okay. That's a tobacco for sure, right? It is a tobacco for sure, and it really, <laughs> I, I dig it. Um, it's sweet, and it has that thick, gooey, dark honey taste, mm -hmm. and then it's mixed. The, the honey is darker than the tobacco, which is kind of reversed from what I think it should be. Right. When I, when I think about honey tobacco, I'm thinking that mm -hmm. the honey should be light and the tobacco should be real dark, yeah. but it's the opposite way. The, the tobacco is kind of like light brown, mm. even a little bit hay-like. Okay. And um, it does kind of lack the depth that I have come to enjoy in tobaccos because Flavora has spoiled me. <laughs> but yeah. it is, but it is tasty, and I did not get any weird off notes out of it. Um, and it seems it seems possible that the tobacco in there could be disappeared into a mix, 
and leave behind a good honey flavor. I maybe I haven't had a chance to play with it, but like in a bakery or something. Hmm. Yeah, I could play in a bakery because you got that hay like note, which is similar to grains, right? Yep. Or you could just go the easy route and beef it up with another tobacco. I imagine that like 2%, this is what I tried it at 2%, uh, 2%, the super concentrate honey flu cured um, with like 1% flavora cured or better yet, Kentucky. Mm. I bet that would be pretty much heaven as a, as a honey tobacco flavor. Thanks. Sounds um, good. I got that. I got it at Vapors Tech, but they might have it at Bull City too. I'm not sure. And I know they have it at Vaping Zone. Um, but it was it's a good one. And I'm surprised the, because the other super concentrates I've tried that they didn't strike me as like you want to try my tobacco flavors next. You no, know, yeah. it's like really candy fruit and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. No, it's a, I think it's a solid ingredient. Sounds like it. Yeah, I'm not seeing it at Bull City. That's a shame because it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like maybe one of their good ones, huh? Uh, it's a. I mean, we haven't seen too many good ones from them. Your choices for honey, they all have like notes that you don't want, might not want in your mix, yeah. like you know, a strong floral or piss or <laughs> or <laughs> wilting, disgusting flowers. Or something. Yeah. This one just has tobacco that tastes fine. There's nothing wrong with it, as far as I can tell. So, yeah. It's good stuff. Good to know. I'm All right, done. so Skittles. What up? If, if you could only pick one honey. To <laughs> <laughs> um, honestly, probably Flavora Honeybee. Yeah? It, it feels the most manageable out of the honeys. The, the, the few honeys that I've tried, and from the sounds of it, it it just seems the most apt for multiple recipes. What would you do with it? Like fruits and teas, basically? I, I still want to do like a banana-based tobacco, but I can't find any of my RY4 tobaccos right now as like a sort of augmenting tobacco. Like I want to use um, mm. Flavora Black. I can't remember the name of it. Um, they're fucking black tobacco. What the fuck's it called? Cavendish? Burley? No. Burley. Red Burley. Red okay, Burley. yeah. For some reason in my mind, I associate that with black. It makes sense. Um, it tastes black. It, it does. Tastes, it, tastes, it's a, it tastes like a very, very, like, it, uh, I, I, hard to explain. Um, but I want to use It's the only Red one Burley. that really does. All the other ones taste like light brown, dark brown, tan. That one's black. Yeah. I want to use way. Red Burley. Um, RY4 to sort of take the high notes away from that red burly, um, TFA banana cream, and then honey, and just try to try to figure out a good sweet dessert tobacco with that. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. It's something I've been thinking about lately too. I've been on a banana kick a little bit. Same, same. Yeah, yeah. I found that uh, that that vape trains uh, avocado cream. Works yeah. really well to bring some authenticity to TFA's banana cream. Mm. Like instead have you tried of, um, Vape Train banana custard? I have not. I haven't, oh, I haven't really tried any of Vape Train's bananas because when I smelled avocado cream, I was like, that's a banana. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll that's have to try the avocado cream, but okay. check out their uh, banana custard. That's, that's their banana good. custard is not a custard flavor. It's just a really good banana. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'll have to give that a shot. Um, yeah, I, I haven't, I haven't been using vape train all that much. Cause I've, I've been lately working on a commission for someone who's not going to be using vape train. Yeah. Yeah. So that happens. Went on the, yeah. They went on the back burner, but if I could just get them to be like, all right, we'll pick up vape train. Yeah. He's so good. Well, God for your own it. personal. Nobody wants to import the stuff for the <laughs> yeah. commercial stuff. I know it's a yeah. pain. After, it is a pain. It really is. <laughs> after last week's in the mix, pretty much every like Wikipedia page, not Wikipedia, but like every like fandom wiki I go on has fucking yo-yo ads all over the goddamn page. <laughs> Thanks to Wayne just talking about his <laughs> his his yo-yo hobby. 
I like how we're talking about honey, and then we got on the banana. Yeah, sorry about that. Like, why would we even talk? It just about it just honey? came up. Like, we're done because with bananas that. and honeys are good because you asked the man a question. Yeah, how would yeah. I how would I use flavor honeybee? That's right. Um, honestly, like I feel like banana tobacco. I feel like the overly sweetness of banana would would blend well to mm. the floralness and help augment that honey quite a bit. Yeah, you're right. It would probably help tame that. And yeah, neutralize it a bit. I wouldn't period. use it with one of the the normal bananas simply because they're too candy like i feel like mm. they just get floral with each other but with yeah. tfa's banana cream for sure and possibly vape trains uh banana custard i'll have to give that a shot yeah cool How about you dave if you could pick one honey i mean does it have to be a honey because uh, any, any of these flavors i guess we talked about tonight because not milk and these... honey not milk no, and milk i can't honey. say milk and honey that's cheating no because that's yeah. not a honey that's <laughs> We we mentioned it because we weren't going to mention it tonight. I got it. I got it. <laughs> um, I'm really excited about playing with uh, Vape Train Honeycomb. Yeah. It tastes really cool. Oh, man. Um, but if I had to pick one right now, mm. I would probably pick Flavor Art Honey because I think it's the – Oh, yeah? I think, it's okay. a better, I think it's a better choice and a bit more versatile than some of the other ones. Yeah. What is it? Uh, Graham says avocado cream plus – Flavor art honey plus sweet coconut. Hmm, that sounds that, good. That does sound like it could work. Because yeah. avocado cream, it also has like a very nutty flavor. It's got a great like peanut flesh flavor. Mm. Interesting. I wonder how Kanako soy with honey would be. Depends on which one. Mm. But yeah. 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 What well, with honey? Kanako soy. Or Kanako even, soy? What is yeah. it? What is Flip that? Or a, you never had soy? it? Or even has it in its spacing out right now. Or even like Asai. Oh, I, I, I Asai, whatever it is. The green tea, the matcha yeah. tea. Uh, yeah, green yeah. Tea with honey. You know what? I can already smell. Yeah, those like would be a, like good a hint with honeys. Of, a hint of honey on there. Oh, really? Yeah, like like the floralness of honey. Hmm. I could see that going well with Flavora Honeybee or Flavor Art Honey. Yeah. For sure. Interesting. Yeah, I think for me, I'd probably go with the, the Vape Train Honeycomb just because I think you could do some interesting stuff with that. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but other than that, yeah, probably for like a straight up honey, I'd probably yeah. pick the Honeybee. Honeybee? Honeybee. Yeah. I like that one. Um, For me, it's a toss-up, like, for just honey. It's a toss-up between either Flavor Art Honey or I'm really digging the uh, Lorenz honey, too. Oh, yeah, that's right. You got that Lorenz. That one sounds really yeah, good. Lorenz, pretty, you know. But, you know, there's not a lot of times where, where I'm like, I could really go for a honey vape. <laughs> <laughs> you, know? <laughs> you don't know that because you haven't really had a good one. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, maybe that's it. Good beans. <laughs> cool. Cool beans. Don't buy one-on-one -on -one raw honey. That's the lesson <laughs> that we learned tonight. Unless you want unless some you teriyaki, want to sauce. teriyaki sauce or teriyaki sauce. Unless yeah. you want to bake teriyaki sauce. Just put that straight into your lungs, baby. What the hell? Even at that rate, you could probably get a you know one of those big Big jars of teriyaki sauce for cheaper. Just get that at the at your Costco. Drip that onto your coils, right? Yeah. <laughs> Are we done here, guys? I think so. I think that's all the honey talk we got. Yeah. What do we got next week, guys? What is going Peanut on? Peanut butter. Week? Peanut butter. Peanut, Peanut butter. butter. Out of the frying pan into the fire. <laughs> Some of those are just as bad as honey's. And I'm pretty sure next week we have the last episode of In the Mix. The last episode <gasps> ever. Oh, it's so sad. It's like the end of an era. You don't even. You don't even know. You don't even know how sad it we'll is. We'll be back. You guys can't stay. Yeah. Back. We'll see. I mean, it was a big mistake, and you'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll find something to substitute it. But yeah, In the Mix is four hour stopgap. Ending. <laughs> oh God, no! The people are our stopgap every week. The people. The people no can't. One, take no that. one's. No one's done anything to deserve that, man. <laughs> you can't put that on the. Oh, people. the shenanigans! 
<laughs> they have. They have. All right. Oh goodness. All Good right. night. Good night, everybody. Catch you next week for Good night. Butter. Good night, everyone. Thanks for having me. Thanks, thanks for, for staying up late with us. us. Oh yeah. No yeah. Problem. Thanks for coming by. It was my pleasure. <laughs>